with my best friend Candy and today we're making a cheap and gluten-free receipt. Now Candy cannot eat gluten so I was trying to find a receipt that did not have flour in it. And there are thankfully a lot of rice based desserts from this time period. This one we're making today is actually from 1805. And it literally says in the receipt that this is a cheap dessert. So I'm into it. All right, me too. I'm Let's always into it. cheap. And it's very simple ingredient wise, but we're making a boiled pudding. It's going to be a rice boiled pudding. So we have rice right here. I got long grain rice. Okay. I have raisins. Uh, uh, I have butter. <laughs> I like butter. I got nutmeg. Yay. And off camera, I have sugar. And that is all that we are going to put in this thing. So for a boiled pudding by today's standards might look a little bit gross, but what you do is you take a cloth. You can use a pudding cloth. That's preferable, but we're just using a white rag because most people don't have access at home to pudding cloths when you just go to your local store. This is like those flour sack towels. Yep. This, yep. This is a flour sack towel. And what you're going to do is you're going to rub a little bit of butter, cold butter on the inside of the rag where you actually plan on putting the rice. You're going to first, of course, you got to wash the rice, get the dust and stuff off of it. Mm. You put dry uncooked rice in here. You put raisins in here. You maybe mix it together with your hands. Then we're going to close it up, form, a softball looking thing and then we're going to tie it with some twine here some string and then we're going to boil this now it says in the directions to boil for two hours wow. and the reason for that is because i think we want this to be a mush we want it to be kind of pasty we don't want it to look like rice really anymore we want it to be almost like a weird soft cake mm. made out of rice. Okay. In fact, let me just read the whole receipt for you guys because it's pretty short. This one's from the housekeeper's instructor. I'm using the 1805 edition. There are several different ways in this book to make rice pudding, but I chose the cheapest one. If you would make a cheap boiled rice pudding, proceed thus. Take a quarter of a pound of rice, half a pound of raisins, and tie them in a cloth but give the rice a good deal of room to swell. Boil it two hours, and when it is enough, turn it into your dish, and pour melted butter and sugar over it with a little nutmeg. This isn't going to be unusual to people in the UK. They like puddings? They do boil <laughs> puddings every year at Christmas. Oh, yeah, that's true. So I've, I've it's, heard about it's that. strange to us mm -hmm. in America, because we don't really do this anymore. Yeah. But in the UK, um, they even like during Advent, they have stirring Sunday, I think it is, where every Sunday you have to stir. It's a very lengthy process, and then they boil it in a bag like that. Our UK friends try this one out, and everyone else try it out too. Yeah. So first step, of course, you have to wash the rice. Now, those of you that don't know why, every single time you eat rice, you have to wash it because there's dust sitting on it. And there might also be pesticides and whatnot on it. So you always wash the rice. If it's a gravelly grit. Yep, you always got to wash it. So okay. over here, I have a strainer okay. and a bowl underneath. Mm -hmm. Now, strainers back then were made out of horse hair. <laughs> Yum. Yum. <laughs> That's a really nice flavor to your food. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just quickly wash it. And let me get water all over the table, too. Of course. Of course. It's tradition. Justine is very destructive with everything she does. You cook like me. Destructive? Just messy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Look at all that stuff in there. Exactly. I mean, that's how it is every time you wash rice. You, you might not be able to see, and obviously I can't tilt the bowl any further, or yep. even more destructive, but the water is kind of milky. Yeah, it's like gravel dust. Yep, so you do not want to eat that. No. This is long grain rice, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, getting rid of this. Next up is the 
bag that we're going to put this in. Let me just clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> Missed a spot. Big one. There we go. Now, if you are making a boiled pudding that has a, some kind of flour in it, a lot of puddings, they're encased in this dough ball, then what you got to do is different than if you're just making a pudding that don't have flour in it. If you're making one that has flour in it, then you have to first put the rag in boiling water. Then you have to cover the inside part where you're going to put the food with flour and then you put your ingredients in there. And the reason you do that is so it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't stick. But with a non-flour pudding, you can just rub butter on it and it should help the rice not to stick so that when it's done after boiling for two hours, you don't have to sit there and scrape it off and completely tear apart your rag because you want to reuse this over and over, obviously. Mm -hmm. So let's spread this boy out here. Okay, so the center part is right about here. Time to get our hands dirty. And this is kind of room temp, maybe slightly cold butter. Thank you, Candy. Welcome. This is healthy already, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, real butter is better for you than margarine and... Oh my gosh, I don't even touch that stuff. No. No, that's, that stuff glows in the dark. Yep. Clogs your veins. Yeah, it does. Your body doesn't know what to do with exactly. it. It does know what to do with real butter. Yep, because this is just natural milk, milk based product. Right. Oh, natural. Almost done. Okay. Now that my hands are thoroughly soiled, <laughs> like always on every single cooking video I do, we're going to go ahead and just pour in the rice. You might be thinking, why are we not adding sugar yet? And I think that is a little bit strange myself, mm -hmm. but Me who too. am I to argue with someone from 200 years ago who's probably long dead and buried? Did I really just say probably? Is really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is well. probably dead. Um, so he wants us to add the sugar when it's already done, but we're supposed to add the raisins now before it boils. Okay, let's do it. So they'll plump when you cook them. Yep, exactly. And I would not use currants because they're not as plump and juicy as raisins. The receipt says especially use raisins. So I have some nice plump raisins here. Plump, <laughs> easy as that. <laughs> we can go mix them up in there a little bit. I don't think this will be too bad. Especially if I eat around the raisins. No, you don't like raisins, Candy. I like raisins. <laughs> I don't like raisins. You don't like oatmeal raisin cookies? I like oatmeal cookies. Oh my gosh. That oatmeal raisin cookies are my favorite. But because you made it, I will eat it. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I like the rice part for sure. I love yeah, rice. I love, Anything I love with rice. rice. I love rice. That to me looks, well, we're not going to say. Hey! I think it looks like. <laughs> uh, probably squirrel poop. No, that's actually not what I was going to say. What were you going to say? Bugs? Bugs. Bugs? Dead bugs. Well, some people think that raisins look like bugs. But I do. Let's, let's I wasn't not thinking, spoil I wasn't thinking in watching. the animal kingdom direction at all. Okay, uh, don't replace the raisins with chocolate, though. That'd be disgusting. Uh, no, don't do that. That'd be so gross with this. So anyway, we have it all wrapped up. It's just literally two ingredients in here right now. Washed rice and raisins. Okay. So we're going to wrap this up in a ball. Okay. And when you cook rice, it does expand tremendously. Yes. And since we're cooking this for two whole stinking hours, this is definitely going to expand a lot. So I'm going to tie it off probably right around here. There's all this extra space here for it to grow exactly so could you hold it I where will. i have it mm -hmm. and i will just cut off some string and then i'm going to just simply tie it mm -hmm. And we are 
are going to boil this for two hours? I've always watched boiled puddings being made on British TV. Yeah. So I'm curious to see how this turns out. I, I watch a lot of British TV. You know, I watch a lot of British TV too because I grew up in Germany and the only English speaking channels that were on TV were British shows. <laughs> so still to this day, I, I just click with that kind of stuff. I just feel like when I watch mm -hmm. British TV shows, I'm not losing brain, brain cells. Brain cells? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of it's educational. Well, I have to and admit... And I'm a huge Anglophile anyway, so... I, I have to admit, I do watch a lot of British, uh, like what you'd call trash reality <laughs> TV, but I don't watch any American reality TV. That's Weird. funny. <laughs> I didn't even know they had British oh, like, trash reality TV. Oh, of course they TV. do. Every country does. Here we go, guys. It's just two ingredients in here. I mean, it doesn't get any cheaper and simpler than this. If you are a beginner at period receipts, this is a great one to start, although I've actually never made this before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Oh, goody! Out. <laughs> okay. It'll be a surprise. I like surprises. <laughs> so, we're going to get some sort of a, a cooking pot vessel that's deep enough. And I got this one. I'm going to put it into an empty pot and just pour the water over it for safety. So, in it goes. We want to be safe. We don't want to be like those women that burn themselves in their skirts. No, we do not. And we're just going to pour some plain old water over it. Okay. Easy as that. Making sure we get some on the table. Of course. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up. <laughs> and there you go, guys. It's as easy as that. We're going to put it over the fire and let it simmer for two hours. And make sure that this yeah, isn't in the we fire. We don't want that to catch on fire. <laughs> no, you, don't, you do not want that to catch on fire. Okay, we're ready now. Now we're ready. <laughs> All right. There you go. Careful. And away she goes. And away she goes for two hours. Boil, baby, boil. We'll be back in two hours. Well, it's been two long hours, and we are ready to see what this thing looks like. I can tell you it has swelled up quite considerably. Mm -hmm. The water it's in is a milky color because of the rice. And I'm just curious to cut into this thing and Me see too. what it looks like. <laughs> Me too. Okay, it's only two ingredients. Let's see. Rice and raisins. Be careful. It's full of very hot water. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll take it out and put it in here. Now the bag is going to be pretty stinking hot. We've had it off of the fire now for about 10 minutes just so it wouldn't be excruciatingly scorching hot. But it's still going to be pretty hot. Oh, what is this thing? Look at that monster. Look at this monster. It does look like a pudding. Can you see the raisins through the bag uh -huh. a little bit? It does look There's like a pudding. There's a lot of liquid in here. Yes, there is. Maybe we should put the sieve, put it on the sieve. You know what? I'm going to put it here, but I have a bigger bowl. Bigger bowl. I think bowl. we're going to need a bigger bowl. We need a bigger bowl. This has swelled a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna put that back on the fire just, okay. just so we don't hit it with our hands. Good idea. I'll put it over here, not on the fire. Don't this look just appetizing already? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to remove the string and try not to scorch yourself. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh! Well, I'll be, we got rice and raisins. I never expected that. Look at that. It's actually held on to its yes, shape. Yes, it did. And it, it's not Ooh. a couple little pieces of grain stuck. Wow, not bad. That, that actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks pretty decent. Even with the bugs? So I'm giving it the poke. <laughs> Those are raisins! <laughs> Okay, so here I have a empty bowl and I have my sugar and I still have my butter on the table. I'm gonna try out a little experiment because every time I see people that make just really simple rice puddings, they usually just plop it on a plate and call it a day. 
but I want this to look somewhat attractive even though it's such a ridiculously cheap dessert. And this might not work out at all, but not worth, I mean, it's not, it's not gonna hurt to try, right? No, uh -uh. So I have a mold right here and I wondered if I press the rice really hard into this and if I very carefully flip it over on a plate, is it gonna keep the shape and give me almost a cake looking item, but it's gonna be completely gluten free and cost $5. I think it's gonna work. Okay, let's try it. I think it'll work. So before I move on to the mold part, let's address the fact that the rest of the receipt says that we have to add sugar and butter to this dish. Now you could mix the butter and the sugar and just pour it on top. You could do that. Um, but I'm going to mix the sugar and the butter in inside and throughout it because I think that'll just make it taste way better. But you do you. Yeah, we want we want to taste butter and sugar in every bite. In every single bite. That's right. So I'm just going to flip it out into this bowl. Wow, it's really holding on to it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm, now I'm beginning to wonder, though, if we add butter and sugar to it, will it make it all separate? Hmm. We'll find out. Won't yeah, we? we'll find out. How many cups of rice was that? I kind of just eyeballed it, so I'm not exactly it's sure. It's a lot of rice. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of rice. So it'll feed a lot of people for on the on the cheap. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's totally ruin its pretty shape. I mean, as it is now, it looks like an alien creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have never seen anything quite like it. Yes, so add as much sugar as you can afford. It did not say how much sugar to add. We'll just do that much. So we're just gonna add however much sugar we can afford here. And butter, because butter makes everything better. Mm -hmm. And then, goodness, I don't know if I can do this with such a small... I think, do you have a bigger mm -hmm. one spoon? Oh, it's making some really slimy noises, guys. Yeah. If it was cool enough, you could get yeah, your hands in yeah. there. Yeah, Well... I think it's still smoking, though. It is still steaming, but I'm touching it, and it's not too bad. It might be down in the middle, though. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to scorch myself. Because you guys know me, I like rubbing all my food with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's what my grandma did, so it's what I do. You might be able to get your hands in there once you get it squished up. Yeah. And loosened up and then... This is a whole lot of rice. Mm -hmm. Like huh. I said, that'll make a... This would probably be a dish that would have been popular in uh, Carolinas. Yeah, where rice was grown yeah, in the Americas. Yeah, a lot of rice down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people don't realize that rice was one of the biggest crops that was grown in the United States during mm -hmm. this time period and earlier. And in southeast Missouri, there's big yeah. rice fields. They just think rice is grown only in Asia. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. It's grown in our own state. Yeah. You're right, it's even grown in Missouri. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have thoroughly messed this thing up. Mm -hmm. So then we're gonna try, I mean, we could try it now if you want to. Try to put it in here? No, like try to eat it. Oh. Do you want to? Want to take a taste? We can take a taste just to see mm -hmm. if it has enough butter and sugar. I'll get a little, I'll get a, I'll get a fork. Okay, I will get a fork too. Okay. She's going to get a slice that don't have no raisins. raisins. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like rice. Tastes like rice <laughs> with sugar on it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's actually good though. I think it, look, there's all that butter right there that didn't oh, yeah. get mixed in. I think we need to, uh, and I just licked off of that fork and now I've got it all over your food. Well, it's a good thing we're the only people that are going to probably eat this because I don't think anyone else is going to want it. <laughs> well, the steam of it is sterilizing my fork. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I don't think it's been mixed enough. You don't want to try a bite with a raisin, though. It's 
it's not so with me it's not necessarily taste that, that was good that bothers me hmm. it's it's textures oh so that was really good i, I can't think. eat cherry pie either oh because mushy no because of the cherry why? Why? <laughs> I like that. <it. laughs> <laughs> All right, here it goes with a raisin. I don't even taste the raisin. Yeah, because you took a huge bite of rice and there's one little raisin in there. <laughs> well, I had a bite that had two raisins in it and I thought it actually tasted really good. Oh! I know what it needs. What? The nutmeg. Oh yeah! We forgot to add the nutmeg, guys. No wonder it tastes bland. I mean, it's not bland bland, but it's kind of What'd bland. you say about my cooking? <laughs> I actually didn't think it was that bad, really. It's not, but this'll 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 bump it up a couple of notches. Okay, so here's my super fancy pants nutmeg grater that I have been showing off to everybody at any chance that I can get. I just have one of those little... Yeah, that works too. But it's not fancy pants. No, it's not. Okay, it smells like nutmeg in here now. That's already better. I like the smell. Yeah. I like nutmeg. I like cinnamon. It's a shame that I they do too. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't call for cinnamon in this recipe. Well, just because they didn't call for it doesn't mean you can't do it at home. Yeah, at home you can have whatever you want. We're just making the historically correct one. Right. All right. Okay, so now. I feel like I, in order to thoroughly mix this, I might have to get my You're gonna hands dirty. Are going to use Are you okay with that? Absolutely. Are you okay with me sticking my fork in it? Yes, I'm okay. Okay, there we go. We're good. Yeah. All I did earlier today was... Don't expose your wrists, though. Well, there might not be any gentlemen I mean, your, your elbows. Yeah. Your wrists are okay. All I did earlier today is I was just cleaning up some manure and... Oh, lovely. All that, so it should be fun. Shoveling out the pigsty, were you? I'm kidding, I wasn't. Okay, hopefully this ain't too hot. Nope, it's not. Oh, it was going to be better. Actually, the center's pretty hot. Yeah. <laughs> take turns you want me to do it a while too no because then we'll really contaminate this thing <laughs> so what are you saying <laughs> my hands are really contaminated oh oh my gosh <laughs> like the cafeteria lunch lady i was a cafeteria lunch yes, lady she was random fact <laughs> oh my gosh what am i gonna do with you just eat my cooking okay <laughs> i can do that well, how about uh? I wasn't a mean lunch lady though. Here, let me add, add some sugar for you. Add more sugar in here. It does. It does not say the quantities of anything like no. sugar wise. So we're just adding however much we think is appropriate. There's a big lump. I'll take care of that. Fix that. Oh, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> the center part of it was still really hot. Yep. The edges weren't, but. I still think it's going to um, stick to I think it'll do in the mold all right. Okay. Because look, when you mash it, it still yeah. holds. Yeah, it is. My fingers are probably adding a delightful flavor, too. Yeah, besides being numb. Yeah, do I have fingers anymore? Are they? Do you have feeling in your fingers anymore? No, they're just burnt stumps now. <laughs> you want to try? It's like a salad, you know, you make your kid I have rings on, good. so I probably shouldn't. No, try it, eating it. Oh! I mean, like, do we need more sugar? That's what I'm oh, like. okay. All right, let me let me at least wipe off my fork. I'll get, I'll get a couple raisins this time. Good. See? All right, everyone, see? I have a couple. There's three raisins There's there. There's three raisins there. This is a big risk. Much better. Okay, well, can it was the nutmeg? Oh, really? Okay, well, I'm gonna try because it. Gonna it you needed the nutmeg, and it don't take a lot. Oh, see? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, it just needed a little more sugar, and the nutmeg made all the difference in the world. No, it just needed you to have raisins in your bite. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my hands so I can get them dirty yet again. Cause I'm going to try to put this in a mold. You want me to butter the dish? Since my hands aren't sticky? Sure. All right. I'll butter the dish. Okay, we'll butter the dish so Let that- Let the old lunch lady have a- So hopefully it comes out. Have a go. <laughs> I used to make all the desserts at for the school lunch. And I would have to make enough for like 150 people. So when I made desserts, I made huge desserts. She made desserts. <laughs> and I made every kid a cupcake for their birthday. Every Which is so sweet. Every child in the school got a cupcake for their birthday. And the ones that had birthdays in the summer, they got a cupcake on their half birthday. Hmm. Why? Wow. I was not a mean lunch lady. I wish I had lunch ladies like that. We... So I like little I like little kids. So I kind of we we had really good homemade uh, school lunches, most you know for the most part. Lucky. Yeah, I because would, we were such a small school, we could we could do that. I think that's buttered. It is properly. I went to Department of Defense schools because my dad was in the military and we lived overseas. Ooh. And we had a five dollar budget for the whole year. I swear. Oh my god. So they wondered us, they didn't give you MREs. No, that would have been a luxury. I actually <laughs> like MREs. And they taste good, but no, they we had three different things that they would cycle um, around. And so, for the folks is, in other countries who do not know what an MRE is, it means meals ready to eat, and yep. it's what our soldiers get out on the in the field or you know in training yeah. or whatever. And they're always very high calorie because yep. you need all those calories. Very when high you're calorie. Constantly walking. You can heat them up in your mug. So I'm just scooping this in here and then I'm going to try to press it down hard mm -hmm. and maybe punch it a little bit. Take out your aggression. You know what Ron said to me last night? Oh man, now we're really getting, <laughs> okay. now we're really getting down to the dirt. Girl talk. He probably said, this is really good Justine. <laughs> yeah, he said. He likes everything you make. He said, I want you to make me more ice cream. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the dreaded ice cream. Yeah, okay, time for me to compact this thing down before I just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Get it in all the little edges here. I hope this works. I hope so too. You know, it probably would be better if we set it outside because it's 50 degrees outside right now. And if it got cold, it might set better. What do you think? Um, or maybe no. No, because that it's melting the butter on the side. It might just oh. slide out. Okay. Candy knows best. She was the lunch lady. I was a lunch You'd lady. You never argue with the lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't a mean lunch lady. And give it a little pat for good luck. That's right. Sometimes okay. my mom would put raisins in my Pardon? lunch and I would get so upset. So I was like, why would she give me dead fruit? Why would she do this to me? I thought she loved me. Just give me grapes. Don't give me dead fruit. I don't like raisins. Does Ron like raisins? Yeah. But yeah. have you ever had yogurt covered raisins or chocolate covered raisins? I don't like those either. No. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you. Oh good. I still love you too. Okay. Now we're going to get a flat plate. And commence the experiment. You might have to slam it down. Yeah. Let me cover that sugar mm. so in case rice goes flying everywhere. Mm. No pressure, guys. Pump you up. Okay. Let's see, this is from 1805. So what do you think I well first? Yeah, put it on the this. top. There you go. Okay, and here's a last look at it. Mm-hmm. Before I probably destroy Isn't that it. that lovely? Yeah. Now it is, but we'll wait. We'll wait and see. The plate's a little small for it. Yeah. Give it a, yeah. Do it on the table too, like. Oh. <gasps> Guys! <laughs> Guys, it works! We did it! We did it! We did it! <laughs> it worked! It worked! It wow, that actually looks really attractive. And you would put a little sprig of mint on the top. Yeah, because they would always do that. Yeah. 
You could put more nutmeg on could. top of it if you're crazy. Or sprinkle a little sugar. Yeah, more sugar on top of it. Let's do that. There's never, actually. there's never, there's no such thing as too much sugar and butter. Let me get, <laughs> let me get one that's not got Ooh, a big lump. That's nice. <laughs> Not bad out. for five dollars worth of ingredients here. Oh, no. lovely! I am delighted, and maybe a little tiny little piece of butter on, on top. the top. It's still steaming, so it'll eventually melt. It'll melt and go down in the middle. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yum, guys, we did it! A little nutmeg, a little more nutmeg. No, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm a cinnamon person. Do you have cinnamon? I do. Let's just try it with a little cinnamon, even okay. though we're, we're getting off of the path yeah. of, of authenticity. Well, you know, the thing is, a lot of receipts back then were very vague. And mm -hmm. they were vague on purpose because they knew that realistically, not everyone wanted the same thing. Right. So you could add extra stuff if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So as it is now, this is how the receipt wanted it to be. We already tried it. It tastes pretty good. Surprisingly, it's mold. really, really good. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to dock it up a little bit. We got cinnamon. Oh yeah. Ooh, look how pretty that is too. Oh my gosh, what have we the made The only thing here? we can't do to it is light it on fire like an English Christmas pudding. No, you probably don't want to light rice on fire. <laughs> no, probably not. Okay guys, now it smells really good. It does, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can smell it. Wow, uh, So look at that. Anyone can make this, anybody. Yeah. You just need a deep pot for boiling it Ingredient wise, it's very cheap. It's gluten free. Mm -hmm. The ingredients are available anywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. So if you're at home and you're interested, try it out. And we're going to try it yet again. So can you get your fork and we are about to destroy this thing. Well, let's try it. All right. Forks up. Forks up. Hey, how about we? Bing. There we go. I'll even get a raisin. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Come here, you little raisin. You won't stay on my floor. Mmm. Mmm. This is very good. Good. Mm hmm It's really nice to have a gluten-free option at a dinner party, mm -hmm. even 200 years ago. Well, thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. Do try to make this one at mm -hmm. home. Um, I'm very happy with this one. So, and I'm also very happy with the price tag. Cost me maybe five dollars worth of supplies here. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye bye. Bye.